welcome to the St. Timothy's Christian Baptist Church Fall Revival. Yes. Hallelujah. be reading scriptures from Ephesians chapter 3 verses 14 through 21. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we may ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory and the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, 
world without end. Amen. My name is Ross, and I have a testimony. Um, one time, my back was hurting really bad because I because my posture was like down whenever I was um sitting, and I was trying to fix it because my back was hurting a lot, and um my back was hurting, so I asked God and I prayed. And then right after I prayed, my back just felt straight and it was it was normal and it didn't hurt anymore. And that's my testimony. Hi, I'm B and a scripture that has been just ministering to my heart lately is Psalms 46 1. God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. This scripture means so much to me, mainly because out of this scripture, there are four things that I know, no matter what I'm going through, God is for me. The first thing is that God is my refuge. He is a place where I can go when I'm sad, when I'm frustrated, when I'm angry. I know that God's protection will cover me in times of uncertainty. Also, God is my strength. Even when I'm weak, even when I feel like I can't do what it is that he wants me to do, I know that I can call on his name and know that he, his strength will be made perfect in my weakness and in, in my flesh. Um, another amazing thing about God is that he is very present, right? We know God is high and he looks low, but that's not it that's not all he's also right here with us we don't have to worry about when we're going through things and we feel very alone and we feel like there's no one we can talk to we know that through prayer we can call on our father and that not only does he hear us but that he'll also answer us and that's because god is very present he's in our hearts and it's so amazing because even when myself i feel like i can't turn to anyone and I feel like I'm just going through something or I'm feeling something that maybe I shouldn't. I know that God is right there and I can call on him and he utilizes his Holy Spirit to minister to me in a way where I return to who I should be and how and to be a good representation for him. Lastly, uh, God is there with me in trouble, right? Right now, we are all feeling the adverse effects of COVID-19. And for many people, it does mean trouble. For many people, they've lost their jobs, they've lost their homes, and they're losing a lot of things. And so it's important to know that God is there. He's right there. It doesn't matter our highs or our lows. When we're in trouble, when we need someone to rescue us, when we need someone to be there for us, to pick us up when we're really low, God is there. And and so I just want to encourage all of you to lean on God, to trust in God, and know that he is so amazing. He's so sovereign. It doesn't matter what's going on. He still sits on the throne. And so just as this verse has ministered to me, I hope it does the same for you. Let us bow our ears in a word of prayer. If my people which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. Then shall I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and heal their land. Eternal and gracious Lord God, our Heavenly Father, Thou who art the creator of heaven and earth, in everything that in it is. Thou who art sovereign, who created and formed man out of the dust of the ground and blew into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Lord God, we bow as humbly as we can before thy holy presence, and we come, Lord, thanking you for this another day. Thank you, Lord God, my Father, for the gift of your only begotten Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who came all the way from heaven down 
to die for our sins, to pay the debt, Lord God, my Father, that we could not pay. We thank you, gracious Father, for this blessed opportunity that you give us, Lord, to talk to you and communicate with you in prayer. And so, Father God, we ask your blessings upon this church, upon this revival, that, Lord God, my Father, you would bless your preacher, that, Lord God, my Father, he would preach with power and authority, and that, Lord God, my Father, as your word goes forth, we pray, Lord God, that it would reach the deepest recesses of those souls, that, Lord God, my Father, that someone will come asking what must they do to be saved. Thank you, Lord God, for being our God. Thank you for being the true and living God. That, Lord God, my Father, that as um, we talk to you in prayer, that, Lord God, my Father, your ear is open. Lord God, we pray in the precious name of Jesus that you would bless these services, Lord. That, Father God, you would have them to be what you would want them to be. And that, Lord God, my Father, that, um, as we, Lord, as your children, go forth, that, Lord God, my Father, we will speak your word to a lost and dying world, and that, Lord God, my Father, that they will come to know you as Lord and Savior. Father God, we pray this prayer in that name which is above every name. We pray it in the blessed and powerful and preeminent name of your Son and our Lord, even Jesus, who is the Christ, the Son of the living God, and we all say, Amen.